network security authentication radius a wireless access point lab part 2 here is our topology to remind you we tested this access point I was able to connect now what we want to do we want to enable radius on it and authenticate our users using a AAA server in my case that will be a Windows Server 2008 let's go back to this guy that was admin and Cisco Windows Server 2008 we go to network policy server I'll show you how it's set up because it's dot 12 there is a client like that already and all policies are in place I set it up like two years ago and I keep using it so first of all we need a radius client and oh take a look at it's even the name is Linksys 172.16.1.12 and inside you specify a pre-shared secret key okay uh, it has to match I am pretty sure it's Cisco I don't have to change that then in the network policy I have here Linksys and there are two conditions first of all I specify it's wireless and then I say that a user has to be in this group wireless it's a very popular solution you specify a group because you want to make sure that a user is a member of that group and I think there was a connection yeah there is one and in the connection request policy I have wireless as well as far as I'm concerned that's all I set up for it on Windows Server 2008 that's why I like to use because it's it's a real network I don't want to break anything this time okay so we are on this access point and there are two main things that we have to do to en enable AAA on it first of all we have to create a server group and authentication login then we have to apply it under just to remind you under under SSID which is here at the moment we have a pre-shared key we want to change it to and there is a pre-shared key as well we want to change it to uh, radius right we want to authenticate using a triple A group let's start with a server we have to specify our radius radius server which is 172.16.1.2 I use the standard port for radius this is 1813 and password is Cisco I am pretty sure it's Cisco now we need to create a triple A group triple A group server radius and let's call it radius group that's just a name server 172.16.1.2 uh, 1812 uh, oops it's uh, this one one eight one three okay now we want to specify a triple a authentication oops authentication login and let's call it radius and the group is this one right that's our group that's what we want to that's what we will apply okay 
we have a triple A server, we have a group and everything that we need to enable it. Now what I like to do because it's really tricky as far as you remember when you try and change anything on an access point it's a nightmare the easiest way is to remove something and reapply it so what I am going to do I'm going to type no and I do that every single time because it's I know it you know it takes more time to do it but every time you want to change something it can complain oh this is in place oh you can't use this one oh group is in use whatever you know just leave me alone I will start from scratch okay and in here I have to say it is in VLAN 2 which is here authentication is open let me because I have a template somewhere, just give me a moment because it will be easier if I find it. Don't want to miss anything, here we go. Okay, that's what I used some time ago. And that's okay, the group is different. Okay, I like to, you know, copy and paste if possible. Okay, let's paste it. Okay. Show dot eleven as show IP interface brief. It's up up. Okay, fair enough. Let's see if if it's on the list. Uh, right can't see that on the list. There is G1 but not uh, M1. Hmm. Uh, okay. Show run. Let's, let's check that guy. Yeah, it is here. We have our triple A group, VLAN. Okay. Uh, right. Let me check something. Ah, please note it, it is it was removed because I nah. There is one SSID only. Let's do it that way and say. Why is it? Just let me resize that guy. There we go. Okay, and the SSID is here. I need that. Okay, let's see if that helps. Uh, okay. Well, I expected more than that. <laughs> do show run. I do not set up access points every day, but it's really worth laps, right? I think there is. Hmm. Let me do that and because that is more than one SSID maybe this guy is, is required come on come on ah here we go good 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 yes now we go to networks and we'll set it up uh, manage wireless we will add yeah uh, this is oops this guy okay security type is 
uh, WPA to Enterprise. It's WPA, I think, isn't it? It doesn't matter for now. It's just a lab. Let's 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 play it safe and use WPA for now. We don't want to start it. Uh, change connecting settings and in here what you want to do of course in the reward it all depends but here I don't want to validate the service certificate okay I you can always play with some options here there are some settings you can enable more secure options if you want I am okay it's just a simple lab it's not wireless training it's uh, security training Okay. Right. Let's test it then. Connect. Come on. I want to see a username and password screen. Yes. Good, 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 good. I will use my uh, admin account because I don't know if I have a user that is in the right group. I'm pretty sure the administrator will be allowed to log in if... Ah! Take a look. Cool. Show dot 11 as Yes, 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 yes. If you want to see some details, you can uh, add the MAC address and that will show you more information. It will... Shall we use WPA? It would be good to go for AES. It's not security training. And we have uh, we have we were able to connect and authenticate, which is great. Uh, give me a moment. I will show you some logs on the server. Found it. It's not easy to to find it. I had to Google the path. It is, show you if you need that, it is here, Windows System 32 log files and there is, there is NPS here, that's what we can see, Mr. M is my, my account, Linksys was used as my profile and IP MS Chap was used. Yeah? Cool. Seems to be working. It's not difficult. Uh, there are a lot of templates on the internet. What I encourage you to do when you set it up, save the running config because if you don't set it up every day then you forget. That's what I used. I, I I just copied that from a template and then you know it's up and running. The same applies to AAA group and so on. Of course, this is a basic lab. You can tweak that, make it more secure. The idea was to show you a real world example with a AAA server using Windows Server 2008 in that, in that situation. Okay. Let me bring that up okay it's time to summarize in in this video I showed you authentication radius and that was a lab with a Cisco wireless access point we were able to authenticate using an active directory account again I encourage you to play with it you can start with a simple home office, small office router like a Linksys, Netgear or whatever. There is an option for WPA2 Enterprise. You can, you can enable it and then use a Windows Server 2008 or, or a free radius application that is available. Thank you very much.